Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you with another Let's Play episode of Dawn Chorus. So, the last time we, uh, the last episode we had, we had met pretty much everyone, I believe, that we could probably romance, except for Klaus, of course, because, uh, he's a freaky kitty dude who can summon werewolves? Maybe? I don't know. This is getting weird. But, yeah, I am very much looking forward to the other guys in this game, but at first I'm going for Lake. Yep, he's my, he de he's definitely 100% my type. Alright, let's, uh, let's continue that room party, shall we? Alright. <clears throat> ah, here we go. <clears throat> Playing table pawpaw is nice, but that's just standing in one place failing your paws. I see you're energetic as always. We can go, we can go, why not? Spending time outside here is only a pl is only a pleasure. Comparing that to the crowded city, oh, I definitely get what you mean. You know, sometimes I miss my old town. Sometimes I miss it too. But I remember what living there looked like. I mean, there was just nothing to do for most of the year. You might be right. I enjoy living in a big city too. I love the energy it has. Just you know, sometimes it's good to be back in nature. Why Miko, by the way? I thought that you, I thought that you don't know each other that much. Yeah, I bumped into each other in the corridor when we were coming back to our room and started talking. He said he has no plans, so I told him he can come over. Suddenly there's a knock on the door and Miko's head peeks in through the gap. Hi, can I come in? Ah, speak of the devil. I invited you, didn't I? Come in, sit down, hop on a bed, do whatever you like. Thanks. He enters the room and looks at the three of us, visibly confused. Were you all talking about me? Ha! <laughs> oh no, Carvin just mentioned you. Oh, okay. So, what's the plan? What would you say for a little walk? Why not? I'm down for whatever you're up to. Behind me, Jorgen puts down his phone and hops onto the wooden floor. Okay. I'm ready now. Let's go then, while the sun is still out. Jorgen, already in a jacket, walks up to the window and looks out. We don't have much time. Come on then, come on then, chop chop. We leave the room together. Lake leads the way, walking with a lively step, while Jorgen leaves as the last one and locks the door behind before catching up to us. The sky is painted with a myriad of reds and yellows. It must be sunset already, but the sun is hidden behind the clouds. It's really chilly outside at this hour already, but the views it may but the views make it worthwhile. I love winter so much. It's definitely my favorite time of the year. Sweater season. It's nice, but I wouldn't but I wouldn't want it to last all year for sure. I wouldn't mind, frankly. I'd rather have to put on a coat than overheat constantly. Plus, I love snow so much. Saying that he, f saying that he flops backwards into the snow. Hmm. What are your favorite seasons then? For me, it's autumn. What about you, Carvin? Yeah, definitely winter. Ah, winter and autumn. Damn. I'll go with winter. I like winter the most too. It's the best season to take photos. Places like. Places that look ordinary in the other seasons suddenly become ominous in winter. Plus, with the lower temperatures, I can take photos at higher ISO values without too much grain. You, Miko? Miko thinks for a while before applying, staring into the open sky. I think my I think my favorite season is always the current one. There's something really special about each one, and I always find myself enjoying the season I'm in the most. I love snow too, and I love the peacefulness winter brings. Everything seems still, and everything around is covered with white fluff. Before he can continue speaking, he gets hit with a snowball from behind. Oh, Jesus. The look of surprise on his face is priceless. His tail completely straightens up behind him, too. Oh, you! He leans down to the ground and quickly makes a snowball of his own, immediately throwing it at Lake, who's running away from him. <laughs> Jorgen looks at the three of us with a startled look on his face before hiding behind me. 
I don't mean to stand still, though. It's been years since I've been in a snowball fight. I crouch on the ground and start making a snowball, but before I'm done, I get hit by one thrown by Lake. Damn, he has a good aim. The fresh snow is soft and just perfect for making snowballs. I finish mine quickly, patting it well to make it harder, and throw it at Lake. He ducks it, throwing himself into the snow again. Damn, what an agile beast. Miko has hidden himself behind the tree, but, here, but from here I can see him clearly. I assemble another snowball in seconds, hoping that I won't get hit, by another, get hit with another by Lake. Taking a few steps forward, I launch a snowball at unsuspecting Miko and hit him straight in the chest. He turns towards me surprised and I wave to him before a certain lion pounces on me, throwing me onto my back into the snow. Hello there! Before I can react, he kneels on me, grabs a paw full of snow and starts rubbing it on my snout. <laughs> Lake! Oh my god, it's cold! You don't say! I grab a paw full of snow too and throw it at him. He starts laughing and gets off me, falling onto his back on the ground next to me. Phew! His chest rises and falls rhythm rhythmically as he pants, winded. The breaths escaping his muzzle turn into small clouds in the cold air before floating up and dissipating. That was fun. Certainly. Although, I can't feel my snout now. Mm-hmm. We lie on the snow in silence for a bit before Lake speaks up again. You know, spending time with you is fun. I'm really happy we have the chance to do that here. Back in the dormitory, I often felt like you were avoiding me for some reason. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I had no idea you felt that way. I never avoided you. I struggled with keeping up with my studies and progressing with photography, so I rarely had the time to meet. Maybe I should rethink my priorities. Yeah, it would be good for you if you just relaxed and did something fun from time to time. Like... Now, for example. Yeah, I like that a lot. Hey, I don't mean to interrupt, but I'm going back to the guest house. It's quite cold already. See you two later. Hey, wait! We're coming, too! I get up and grab Lake's paw, lifting him from the ground. Where's Jorgen? Over there, waiting for us at the door. Shaking the snow away from our fur, we return to the guest house together. Okay, I freaked out because I thought that said coming soon, and I'm like, no! <laughs> okay, common room. I don't know how far this demo goes. They're actually, looks like they're getting kind of close to a full release. After the walk, the four of us split and each went our own ways. Lake took the flannel shirt back and went with Jorgen back to their room, and Miko went to his own room as well. I decided to check out the locker room to see if anyone was in the swimming pool or the sauna, but it's completely empty. That same towel is there. That bugs me. Where is everyone? For a moment, I think about going to the sauna alone just to relax, but frankly, I'm already plenty relaxed. Just bored. There's a faint melody coming from somewhere. I stop for a moment and listen. It sounds like a piano, only muffled. Oh yeah, now I remember there was a piano in the common space. I continue walking towards that room. The closer I am to it, the louder the music gets. Walking into the common space, I see Tsumiko sitting behind the piano. He notices me entering the room and stops playing, turning towards me. Carvin! Did you know they have a piano here? <laughs> yeah, I've been here a few times already. I didn't... Excuse me. I didn't pay much attention to it, not knowing how to play piano myself. It's even in tune! I was afraid that it was here only for decoration, but someone is taking care of it. He touches the keyboard with such affection that for a moment I can't help but feel envious of it. Mm-hmm. That's good. I remember you always liked playing piano. That's right. I haven't seen one in a long time. Remember the one we had at our school? Oh, yeah. This one looks better for sure. There wasn't anything wrong with that one. It was just old. Still, it was so much fun. I sit down on the sofa, feeling somewhat awkward standing in the middle of the room. I was always pretty bad at playing piano, so I don't really share the sentiment. Oh, but I remember staying with you after classes and listening to you play. It brings back some memories, doesn't it? It does indeed. Hey, why did you stop playing? Rune and Bjorn suddenly emerge from the corridor, walking alongside each other. Bjorn holds some book in his paw, but from here I can't read the title. Miko! And Carvin! Hey there! 
Long time no see. Hi, Rune. Hey, Bjorn. <laughs> I had no idea you could play piano too, Miko. Knowing your way around the keyboard helps a lot with composing. I actually started with the piano and switched to electronic instruments later. We heard someone playing the piano in here and came to listen. I hope you don't mind an audience. I don't, although don't expect too much from me. I haven't played a real acoustic thing in a long time. Rune walks into the room and sits down on the armchair. Let's see. Bjorn, however, walks up to me and points at the spot next to me on the sofa. You don't mind if I sit here too, do you? No, no, don't worry. He sits down heavily next to me and leans forward with his elbows on his knees, resting his chin on his paws. I can hear the wooden construction of the sofa creak under our combined weight. Um, so would you like would you like me to play something? Sure. Hmm, maybe this one. Miko turns towards the piano and lifts both his canine paws, wiggling his fingers for a moment before putting them down on the keyboard. Everyone goes silent in an instant, leaving only the crackling from the fireplace resounding in the room. Oh, that's some beautiful art! Miko begins playing the piece, soft piano notes reverberating around the room. He strokes the keys gently, but with confidence. The three of us sit in silence, not wanting to distract him, but also enchanted by the music. I don't think we would notice anything anyway, completely engrossed in playing. There's a genuine smile on his muzzle, and he closes his eyes from time to time, his tail swaying from side to side with the rhythm of the piece. It's like he's playing with his whole body, not just his paws. The piece he's playing is delicate and calm, like a meadow brushed by a gentle autumn breeze. It makes me feel like I'm floating above the ground, or being carried away by a gentle stream. It's touching something deep within me that I haven't felt for a long time. His paws move elegantly in wide swipes across the keys. It takes some effort, and he has to slow down in some parts, but from the look on his snout, it's clear that he's having a lot of fun. He looks really happy when he plays. Yeah, I remember that from the times we were in middle school together. The only times when he looked genuinely happy was when he was playing an instrument. Right now, in his smile, I can see the boy he was back then, getting lost in the music and forgetting about the world around him. Suddenly, I hear steps somewhere behind me. Turning around, I see Turolf entering the room, holding a banana in his paw. He raises his other paw to greet us, but doesn't say anything. Instead, he walks up to the free armchair and sits down quietly, listening to Miko playing. His steps feel deliberate and balanced. I hadn't noticed it before, but he walks in a really elegant way. Meanwhile, Miko finishes playing the piece. Damn, it went off. my alarm went off right there. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to stop it right there. Good little place to end it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. A new episode of Parsnip is going up today. I'm kind of really enjoying that game. I like the horror element that has just kind of reared its horrifying head. But anyway, guys, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!